Good morning. My name is Sarah Giesel. I've grown up at this church. I was baptized here, Sunday school, choir, youth group, confirmation, and now footsteps. This year, the Footsteps of Faith program has given me a chance to reflect on my past and how my faith has grown. It's an understatement to say that I've grown up with great examples of true faith. So where have I felt God present in my life? I'll be really honest. I've not always felt like God was with me. Like everyone here today, I felt abandoned and alone. When? I've struggled with an anxiety disorder since age 11. That's the age I started to ask the age-old question, why does God let bad things happen to good people? The good, or the bad thing being anxiety, and of course, me being the good person. My mom tried to explain that everyone has their own struggles, and that eventually, this struggle will make God and my relationship a lot stronger. As an 11-year-old, that was really hard for me to understand. All I could see is that my panic attacks were getting worse, and it was harder and harder to leave the house. I don't remember a specific moment or time, but I know that my mom and the rest of my family tried their best to help me feel better about my situation, and the main way that they tried to help me was through prayer. I remember my mom using prayer to calm me down from a panic attack or to help me calm, calm me at night and quiet my reeling mind. I remember one thing that she would always tell me and even tells me often today. She said that just saying the name of Jesus would remove the bad thoughts and anxiety. It sounded weird to me, but I actually found the same thing in 1 John 4.4. 4. When you say Jesus, you are saying, greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. It's amazing that just a name can calm someone's heart. That's when I feel and have felt the presence of God. I remember another surreal moment that I felt God working. This time, my brother came into my room right after I'd had a panic attack. He said he thought he knew a way to help me control my thoughts. Just so you know, at this point in time, my brother was a senior in high school and I was an eighth grader. I look up to my brother and always love to hear his advice. He has a way of putting things in a way that I can understand. Also, at this point, it was hard to communicate with him or anyone from that matter because of my lack of interest, which made this conversation all the more meaningful. He told me to think of my mind as a river and my thoughts as stones in that river. He told me that I had control of which stones stayed in my river and any of my anxious thoughts and feelings were stones that should just wash down. I could just let them go. It sounds cheesy and like it wouldn't work, but you know, it did. I, could, er, I felt God working because my brother knew exactly what to say to me at that exact moment that I needed it. The Lord is tru truly amazing with timing. I often turn to the verse, 1 Peter 5, 7, which says, Cast all your anxieties unto him because he cares for you. I still struggle with my anxiety, but because of the strength the Lord has given me and my family and the support that I get from all of them, I've been able to handle and even live with my anxiety. Thank you.